वेलकम टू साइंस स्टोर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates dear students welcome to chemistry online classes okay i'm jay shantani uh, your chemistry lecturer today we are going to discuss about uh, a new topic from atomic structure first page my dear students last class we were discussing about um, quantum numbers uh, different types of quantum uh, numbers and that first one is uh, magnetic quantum number azimuthal quantum number principal quantum number and spin quantum number there are four types of quantum numbers okay and how to find that quantum number that and all we discussed and uh, the very important one thing i recall that particular the first one is principal quantum number in the principal quantum number we used to write uh, represent n and uh, to find number of uh, orbital in uh, n square is used to find number of orbitals my dear students principal quantum number is mainly used for to find the energy level and size of the shells different energy shells are there n is equal to 1 2 3 4 like that and k l m n okay and after that uh, second one is uh, azimuthal quantum number or is also called subsidiary quantum number azimuthal quantum number also called subsidiary quantum number or orbital angular momentum quantum number this one um, they given um, l value just recalling l l value is depending on 0 to 1 and like that okay if uh, l value is 1 means 0 means it is s orbital l value is 1 means p orbital l value is uh, 2 means uh, d orbital l value is 3 means uh, Uh, f orbital to find l value we have one formula n minus 1 principal quantum number minus 1 you will get this values so 0 1 2 3 3 understood for example principal quantum number n is equal to 3 n is equal to 3 then you are finding that value 3 minus 1 it is 2 that means you are writing l value in range you have to write 0 1 2 like this there are three orbitals possible understood s p d orbitals possible if n when is so s p d is possible you know that in p orbital there are three orbitals p x p y p z and uh, in d orbital there are five d orbitals the name of five d orbitals are d x y d y z d z x and d x square minus y square and d z square that is given and there are only one s orbitals understood that we discussed huh? as muthal quantum number mainly we used to find out number of sub shells some shells are nothing but number of orbitals if one s orbital is there two p orbital how many orbitals are present in this particular energy level we used to find as muthal uh, used to find as muthal quantum number and how to find as muthal quantum number using this formula you are finding just remember this table is important and last one we were discussing about uh, magnetic quantum number magnetic quantum number in this magnetic quantum number ml so okay magnetic quantum number how to find magnetic quantum number one formula is given 2l plus 1 2l plus 1 and magnetic quantum number values are ranged from ml is equal to uh, 0 to like this My plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, like that, etc. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, etc. Like this, it's arranged. This is value of magnetic quantum numbers. Value of how to find magnetic quantum number? You using which formula? 
टू एल प्लस वन इमेजिन इफ एल इज इक्वल टू जीरो एल एल वैली इज टू एल वैली इज टू सो यू हैव टू सब्सिट्यूट एल वैली इज टू देन टू इंटू टू प्लस वन इज गिवज आउ मच फोर प्लस वन फाइव दैट मीन्स फाइव आर बिटल्स आर पॉसिबल लाइक दैट यू आर राइटिंग अंडरस्टेड टू एल प्लस वन विच आर दोज फाइव आर बिटल्स आर हियर mainly this magnetic quantum number ml is used to represent the orientation of this particular orbital in which axis this orbital oriented whether it is in y axis x axis or minus plus you know that in uh, mathematics you are studying plus minus minus plus like that is there no that you are studying so the same thing in which axis it is there actually uh, okay to re- just to represent the orientation of that particular orbital we are using five values are there means 0 plus 1 plus 2 and minus 1 minus 2 like this total five orientation is possible don't get confused with this values this values represent five orientation plus orientation my minus axis plus axis understood plus to minus plus minus is there no like that simple but just number is given understood if you have any doubt means you can okay is about L value is equal to two means you are getting five, five d orbitals I like that. Understood? Okay. Last is spin quantum number. In the spin quantum number, there are two possibilities are there. A spin quantum number mainly actually plus half and minus half. That means electron revolves around the nucleus in a circular path and it spins its own axis like this. Understood? Is given. Plus half and minus half. Plus half, minus half. Plus half, minus half. the wave moves like this plus minus plus minus plus minus that i explained in last class so using this one you will find out you will solve few problems on this particular okay my dear students okay my dear students in this one mainly you know down uh, the problems actually uh, what are possible values uh, question number 8 magnetic quantum number 4 4f sub shell You have to find out magnetic quantum numbers of 4f sub shell and azimuthal quantum number of that particular azimuthal quantum number. So magnetic quantum number is nothing but this one. Which is sub shell? 4f sub shell. 4f sub shell. So magnetic quantum number for 4f sub shell. You have to find out question number A solution. So very easy. F represent which orbital? F means L is equal to L is equal to three. Look at this formula. F means L is equal to three. Then for finding magnetic quantum number, which formula is there? Two L plus one. Two L plus one. That means two L plus one is equal to is equal to two L plus one is equal to hmm two L plus one is equal to Oh, twelve plus one. Here, L value is how much for F sub shell? F sub shell L value is F sub shell L value is three. L is equal to three. Just you substitute this one here. L value two L plus so two into three plus one. That means. Three two zero six seven seven means uh, seven sub shell is possible. Seven sub shells are possible. Um, seven orientation is possible, not sub shell. Seven orientation. That means uh, you have to write the value M L value. M L is equal to zero minus one minus two minus three plus one plus two plus three. So. Here seven orientation is possible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven orientation. So what is magnetic quantum number for this one? Plus three, plus two, plus one, zero, minus one, minus two, three. Okay. Next you have to find out azimuthal quantum number. My dear students, azimuthal quantum number. You should know that this one n n. What is n value here? Four. So solution for second one, solution for B, n value is equal to four. Which formula is supposed to use? Azimuthal quantum number. Azimuthal quantum number. 
Azimuthal quantum number n minus 1 that means 4 minus 1 4 minus 1 gives how much 4 minus 1 gives 3 3 values so 3 means you are writing L value 0 1 2 3 like this ok 4 minus 1 so this nothing but 0 is S 1 means P D F ok look at this very simple very simple so next question is how are the following subshells are designated how are the following subshells are designated so if n value is 2 n value is 2 and l value is 1 n value is 2 2 that i will write here main energy level is 2 l value is 1 l value 1 means which one p orbital so it is 2p correct 2p now n value is equal to 3 that means third energy level third energy level which subshell l value is which orbital l is equal to 2 2 means which d so 3d ok n value is equal to 4 4 <coughs> l value is equal to 3 3 means which subshell f 4f here n value is equal to 4 4 4 means 4 uh, fourth energy level l is equal to 0 0 means s 4s n value is equal to 5 5 l value is equal to 3 3 means f 5f we are finding which is subshell it is by giving n value it's very simple okay Okay, my dear students next two questions which are the subshells possible for in n is equal to 3 that means subshells finding formula is nothing but azimuthal quantum number that means this you have to use n minus 1 so n is given 3 minus 1 that is nothing but 2 2 means you are writing l value means 0 1 2 2 3 subshells are possible s yes, p and d okay Next question, how many total orbitals are possible in n is equal to 3? For that one also you can use the same formula n minus 1 is equal to 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 L 0 1 2 here S P D but in S orbital how many orbitals is present? Only one orbital is present. In P orbital three orbitals are present p 3 orbitals are px py pz and d orbital 5 total number of orbital 1 plus 3 plus 5 uh, 9 9 orbital please note down hmm? Okay, my dear students, next shapes of the orbital. Now here it comes, shape, I love it, the shape of the orbital, understood? The song you just, uh, uh, love with the shape of orbital. Okay, first, first we are going to discuss about uh, S orbital. What is the shape of S orbital? Uh, how it looks, uh, chunky look, uh, thin fat, uh, it's not about like that. How we can see that electron density and how it is actually the shape of that particular. So, first we will discuss S orbital, S orbital. My dear students, is S orbital in spherical in shape? For S orbital, L value is given 0, correct? Then 2 uh, ML value, that means magnetic quantum number value 2L plus 1, is nothing but 2 into 0 plus 1 is how much? Huh. 0 plus 1, 1. That means here 
one value one value so ml value ranges from 0 to 0 minus 1 plus 1 that one value is nothing but ml value is 0 that means here you are getting one means you are not writing one the ml value ranges from 0 plus 1 minus 1 minus 2 plus 2 like this correct ah? so if you are getting only one ml value one means it is nothing but a zero correct ah? so uh, only one type of orientation is possible that is zero orientation is given actually zero orientation is nothing but there is no particular axis for a s orbital understood it is it actually in spherical in shape if you draw x axis y axis z axis so how we can draw one spherical shape like this this is actually s orbital s orbital this is nucleus understood electron density everywhere it is same only here also electron density is same electron density is same just i used this one axis okay don't just can get confused if they ask s s axis just you draw like this this is enough s orbital so electron density everywhere it is same only because there is no particular orientation only it shows a spherical in shape s orbital so if i am drawing 2s orbital 2s orbital so imagine this is nucleus this is 1s orbital and again if i draw 2s means you have to draw like this here one small space is there here actually so this is 2s okay this 2s and here this is 1s here you can see one gap actually between 2s see this is circle 1s circle again one gap after that actually 2s so this is 2s this is 1s this gap is there no there is no electron actually this gap this gap actually it is called node node in node finding probability of finding electron is zero there is no electron understood one s is over after that one gap again two s orbital understood that gap actually zero electron it is called probability of finding electron zero so it is called node okay one s after that gap this is called node and again two s that's it one s alone you are just writing one s alone like this over so if you are writing in axis means x axis y axis z axis all the axis you write but there is no axis for s orbital that is spherical in shape everywhere electron density is same okay please note down these two structures my dear students next is p orbital see this is actually s orbital spherical in shape spherical okay next is p orbital for p orbital <laughs> l value is 1 that i will substitute how many orientation is possible ml is 2 plus 1 2 into 1 plus 1 3 uh, 3 orientation 0 1 2 3 correct ah? 0 1 2 3 sorry not 0 1 2 3 here 3 orientation means you are writing 0 plus 1 minus 1 so here px py pz understood 3 orientation is possible see my dear students if they asked px draw px orbital shape px orbital so what you are doing means you consider two axes one is x axis another one is y axis in so which shape it is p orbital means it is actually look like this double dumbbell shape double dumbbell ah, sorry dumbbell shape dumbbell shape 
dumbbell shape two lobes two lobes this is one lobe the electron revolves like this electron moves it comes and like just in time tin 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 like this electron movement so if they ask draw px orbital p means dumbbell shape correct da dumbbell shape here two lobes are there we are writing that one p orbital like this px if they asked py orbital here y here x axis so p is dumbbell shape If they ask P Z orbital, so if uh, P Z means, uh, my dear students, you can consider uh, Z axis, X axis, anywhere you can consider, no problem. I am not telling that here only you should consider Z axis, not like that. Here you can take it as a X axis, Y axis, Z axis, no problem. It is up to you. Understood? This orbital I will take X. Then it is how to draw. Imagine if I am writing P X like this. P X P Y. So I ask to write P X orbital. So I should draw P X here because I consider this axis as X. That's up to you. But do you remember where you are writing X? There you are writing P X. Where you are writing Y? There you are writing lobes. Uh, you have to draw this diagram. Dumbbell shape. Here P Z. That I will take one more axis if I want. This is Z axis. Imagine. This is actually. P Z. Okay. So draw. Okay, my dear students. Next is d orbitals. In d orbitals, l value is how much? Two. That means m l. How many orientations is possible? Five orientations. Which are the five orientation? Plus one, plus two, minus one, minus two. That means here d x y, d y z, d z x. d x square minus y square d z square okay d x y d y z d z x d x square minus y square d z square five orientation 1 2 3 4 5 okay here my dear students first one is we are going to discuss about which shape it is actually double dumbbell shape this is dumbbell shape double dumbbell shape double dumbbell shape For example, double dumbbell shape. How it looks actually? One dumbbell is like this. Double dumbbell means like this. One dumbbell, this one. Double dumbbell means like this. Okay, double dumbbell shape. Or clove leaf model. Clove leaf model. Or it's also called clove leaf. C L O V E leaf. Clove leaf. Okay. And we'll draw one by one. D X Y. For dxy orbital, my dear students, I am going to consider only two axes, x-axis and y-axis. In between, if you are drawing this particular dxy, in between you are drawing, not on the axis. Don't get confused. For px, you are drawing. For here, actually px, this one, px, you are drawing. If I consider x, y, this one, p x means you are drawing on the axis, correct? Ah, p x, p y also on the axis. But if you are drawing d x y means you are drawing in between the axis. Double dumbbell shape is there. X, this is y. One is x, one is y. Okay. Next, d 
<laughs> dx y dy z dy z so i already mentioned that you can take any axis this one x axis y axis no problem understood <laughs> this i will consider as z in first i consider as x no problem understood axis you can consider any axis just i should draw between the axis dumbbell double dumbbell okay dy z is over d z x next so i'll consider this actually x this actually z i can understood any axis you can name z x y or k okay. but you should be careful z and x is needed so first orbital second d z x okay next is d x square minus y square d x square minus y square shall i write this my dear students this part d x square minus y square so i should draw here y and here x x square and y square means you are drawing on the axis x on axis y on axis so this is actually x square minus y square see the difference here you are drawing x y z between the axis here you are drawing x square and y square y x axis and y axis there on axis you are writing the things actually it becomes x square and minus y square x square minus y square and my dear students next is which one dz square so for me dz square i will consider this is z axis z axis you are drawing on axis this is actually dz square okay dz square dz square so you are drawing on x axis you are drawing dumbbell shape along with that along with that one circle you have to draw like this this is actually electron density ring it is called electron density ring electron ring electron ring or electron density ring so if you miss this circle two circles you are drawing like this one above if you are miss this one and you will lose marks remember you are drawing on axis for z z square so along with that the circle indicates that electron density of that particular z axis okay electron ring so don't miss this electron ring this is actually different types of d orbitals and f orbitals are not important for you and what is a full full form of s orbital what is actually full form of s orbital sharp p orbital principal principal and d orbital diffuse f orbital fundamental so full form of this f orbital contains seven orbitals okay f contains seven orbitals we are not studying that particular f y x y f y z f z x f x square minus z like that z is there okay if seven orbital is there or there in f orbital and we are studying only spd structures so this is important in d z square you are writing on axis same time two rings is nothing but electron ring and uh, x square minus y square you are writing on axis but remaining all you are writing in between the axis okay don't forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates